In the beginning, LBJ created the Great Society, and darkness was upon the face of the Republicans, and the spirit of consensus moved across the land. And LBJ said, let us continue. And they continued. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And LBJ said, let us make war on poverty. And lo, there were welfare checks fallen upon the land, and upon them it was writ, fold not, neither shall ye spindle nor mutilate. And LBJ saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And LBJ said, let there be a civil rights covenant to unite the children of light and darkness. And so it came to pass the Congress, the evening and the morning were the third day. And LBJ said, let there be Medicare that the sick may be healed and the doctors paid under the fullest measure thereof. And LBJ saw that it was paid and the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And LBJ said, let there be bureaus and departments without number, and let them be fruitful and multiply, so that every critter that flieth, creepeth, or voteth shall be blessed with patronage, each in his own precinct. And LBJ saw that it was finger licking good. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And LBJ said, let there be nuclear non-proliferation, and let the capitalists lie down with the commissar that they may exchange corn and culture. And LBJ pulled out his pole and saw that it was good, even unto the tenth cubit, and the evening and the morning of the sixth day. And LBJ saw the society it made, and behold, it was great. And on the seventh day he gave a barbecue. Still, LBJ rested not from his labors, but said, Shucks, let there be an eighth day. And on the eighth day, he escalated.